Hi, Rap Candy. This is Ryan. Today I'm going to teach you how to make hatch um, background designs um, using Rap Candy. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a pre existing file template. It just makes it easier for placement purposes. For this example, I'm just going to open up a Valentine's Day one, the teddy bear here. Okay, uh, first we need to get rid of this background because we're going to be making our own, right? So I right click and I click delete. Next, I'm going to use the shape option here on the left, and I'm going to do a rectangle. Now I'm going to go up to this top corner, I'm going to hold my left click down and just drag it to the red borders here. Now this layer is on the top, and if you look over here on the right, you'll see a bunch of layers, your text layers, your rectangle. Okay, so first what we want to do is we want to change the fill brush to hatch, and that's up there at the top when you're... And you'll notice that the colors are kind of ugly. But what we can do is we can uh, click the box right to directly to the right of the hatch and we can change the colors. I happen to like pastel so I'm going to go with the uh, purple and a white and it should make kind of a pastel type color to it. Like that. Underneath the back color there's a hatch style and there's many 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 options that you can just kind of scroll through and see what you like. Um, in this one I happen to know that I like the outline, oh no, the solid diamond. And there we have a custom background. Now we need to move it to the back. So we're going to right click and we are going to use the move to option and we're just going to move it so it's at the back, so it's the back layer now. Next you can see that this text here is not very readable or legible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use another shape and I'm going to use the rounded rectangle this time and I'm going to do again. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it to where I want it. And now remember this layer is on the top, but we're going to be working with this layer so it's good to have it on the top, it makes it easier to work with. We're going to change the fill color in this one to just white. Um, you can see that it covers the text. Now I'm going to use the opaque to change, it's here at the top. I'm going to change it to 50%. Looks alright. Again, this is on the top. I want it to be underneath the text, so the text will show up better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this easier and move it to the back by right-clicking, selecting Move to the back. Now it's in the very back, so it's kind of hidden. So I'm going to take the va the background that we made. I'm going to right-click that one and move that to the back. All right. So now we can kind of see, and you might want to move. You might want to play with the opaque and make it 75 to make your text stand out a little better. If you notice there's a black line here, we can change that color as well by using the contour brush. And we're just going to use a solid contour color. It's up here at the top. And because I know that my background is using this lavender color, I'm just going to make it match. Oh, and that was for the background. And I'm also going to do that for this new box I created. And there we go. Next, I am going to just duplicate what I've made here, this 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 little box. I'm going to just copy it by right-clicking, select copy, I'm going to right-click and then paste it again. And now you can see that it's there's another box. We'll just move it to where we want it. And stretch it out a little bit. I'm going to make sure it's selected first. Okay, next I'm going to add an image right here. Um, just by going to, you can just right click anywhere, add image. Uh, I'm just going to use, you can use your own by clicking select image, go to your pictures or whatever files you want. But in this case, I'm just going to use one that's already here. And it's too big, so I'm going to resize it by holding the left click down, make it to the size I want. And now, as you can see, my heart belongs to, I can't get to it by clicking because it's underneath this layer. I'm just going to right click. Do the same thing I did earlier, move it to the back, and again I'm going to click on my background image, I'm going to right click, and move that also to the back. And now I can get at this text a little easier, I can edit it, change it, whatever I want. Alright, well that's how you use the hatch feature. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.